Okay guys, today we're working on this Toyota Tacoma. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a brake lead to resurface your rotors. First thing you're going to want to do is get your right backing plate that will fit on the hub. Once you get that, you're going to come over to your machine and you're going to line everything up. Just kind of make sure everything looks good. You want to get it right in there. Make sure that this little notch here gets in one of those. It gets locked in there like that. And you're gonna come to the back right here. And you're gonna tighten this thing down so it's on there. Nice and snug. Just this to get it kind of right where it needs to be. Then you're gonna want to wheel it in to see where you're sitting. And you want to make sure that your arms are backed off from the rotor at this point, which we're good. So you just want to bring it in about halfway, right into the middle of the rotor. And once it gets about halfway, you're just going to come here and you're going to adjust these until they hit. And you're going to make sure that this lever is not tight so that this will move. Just barely touching them right now. All right, so you're just like that. Then you're gonna come over here. You're gonna turn your the machine on. Sorry about that guys, this thing decided to pop out. <laughs> Alright, see now you can see I was really flush, I had a little bit of gap in there. So I'm just going to adjust these one more time. You don't want them touching yet. What you're gonna, now what you're going to do is come over here, turn your machine on, it's going to start spinning. Then you're going to come down here. You're gonna hit reset. Then you're gonna hit start. Hit start, it's gonna start clicking. Okay, and then when it's done clicking, you're going to see that you're going to get two green lights. You're ready to cut and everything looks good. So then you're going to come back over here and you're going to get them so that they're just cut in barely. Once you start hearing it cut, just a little bit, like that. Same thing on the back side. Now once they're cut, you're going to go one notch on both of them. And then you're going to take your rear and bring it in. And then you're going to let it roll. And lock it. Alright guys, now we're back. This rotor is all resurfaced. Now we're going to take this back apart. It's the same process as putting it on. But first you're going to want to take it out so it doesn't spin on you. 
then all you're going to do is just come over to your switch, turn it off, and you can see how nice that rotor's looking. And then all you want to do is take your, you want to loosen it, it's going to come free. Pull it off and there you go. And then you take off your backing plate and you move around to the other side and do the other side. And if it had rotors all the way around, you would just do each individual rotor.